Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. Under the patronage of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Board of Trustees, Chairman of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa RHF held its sixth annual forum under the slogan Humanitarian Initiatives. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa extended his sincere thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King, the Honorary President of RHF, for his continuous support to humanitarian work which enabled the foundation to launch quality programs and bring about numerous achievements. As Highness affirmed Bahrain's pioneering role in humanitarian work, pointing out that the idea of humanitarian initiatives competition aims to engage all social categories, particularly the youth, in providing inspirational ideas and philanthropic work in accordance with the vision of His Majesty the King and the foundation's strategic visions. For his part, RHF Secretary General Mustafa Sayyid has extended thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to humanitarian work. He also commended the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser to the Foundation. He said that the Foundation's forum this year is different from the previous ones. He noted that the competition is an extension of a FINA Khir initiative, which opened the door for the individual's contributions. He called on companies and institutions within the framework of community responsibility and partnership to contribute alongside RHF to adopting the distinguished winning initiatives. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the inauguration of Brave 67 for Mixed Martial Arts MMA, which was held at the Bahrain Table Tennis Association Hall in Isa bin Rashid Hall's complex in Rafah. With the participation of world players, Sheikh Khalid welcomed all world players and watched the ongoing fights and supported the MMA national players. He also expressed pleasure with Bahrain's hosting of Brave 67, which is part of the series of championships that Bahrain organized during the last period for MMA, until Bahrain became a leading international destination in the sport. He praised the efforts of Brave, which works with other sports organizations to promote MMA, by hosting this event and contributing to the creation of distinguished championships, creating clarence and stars, and promoting Bahrain and its achievements, especially that the event attracts many stars of MMA around the world and it has a large public and media interest for Bahrain to become a hub for this sport in the world. He affirmed that Bahrain is exerting efforts in cooperation with Bahrain Mixed Martial Arts Federation to promote the sport, noting the spectacular performance of the national players during the event to enhance the country's position and continue their sporting achievements and gains in attract continental and international events to Bahrain.
The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Salam, congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion of Bahrain Police Day, which the Kingdom celebrates on December 14th. The Speaker appreciated the role played by the Ministry of Interior and the national efforts made by their affiliates and their readiness to preserve the security and prosperity of the country, praising the outstanding performance of the high security system in Bahrain thanks to the royal directives and strengthening of the state of law and institutions, noting the achievements of the police force, which reflects a remarkable stage of Bahrain's capabilities and achievements. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh Hassalah, congratulated the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain Police Day. The chairman expressed pride in the Bahraini police national achievements and efforts since its establishment was contributed to maintaining security and spreading safety in Bahrain as a result of the continuous support it receives from the leadership, praising the follow up and interest of the Minister of Interior and his keenness to motivate the police force to continue their efforts for the stability of Bahrain, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless the souls of martyrs. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al-Salah, chaired the first procedural session of the first session of the sixth legislative term, which was held in the presence of a number of ministers. The chairman and members of the Shura Council took the constitutional oath. Al-Salah then delivered a speech in which he affirmed that the democratic and legislative process receives the support of His Majesty the King and follows his directives to increase legislative achievements that serve the country and citizens. Al-Salah expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for inaugurating the first ordinary session of the sixth legislative term. He also expressed pride and appreciation for the royal trust bestowed upon him and the members of the council to assume the responsibility of representing the people of Bahrain alongside the members of the Council of Representatives. Ben Jamal Mohamed Fakhro was elected as the first deputy chairman of the Shura Council and Dr. Jihad Abdullah Al-Fadl as the second deputy chairman. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular session chaired by Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The Council congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Family and the People of Bahrain on the National Day. On the occasion of Martyrs Day, the Council recalled the sacrifices made by Bahraini martyrs for the country. The Council praised that His Majesty's speech during the opening of the first session of the sixth legislative term, affirming that the contents of the speech is the next step for the development process. The Council noted His Majesty's keenness towards Towards values, traditions, and unity, affirming that it represents the cornerstone from which national identity was derived. The Council also congratulated the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the Royal Trust in forming the new ministry and parliamentary and municipal election success. On the occasion of Bahrain Police Day, the Council praised the efforts made by the Ministry of Interior's affiliates alongside the members of the security and military sector in protecting the security and stability of Bahrain. The Council discussed the topics on the agenda. Bahrain celebrates Bahraini Police Day on December 14th of each year in recognition of the patriotic role of the servicemen and women in ensuring security and stability and consolidating development and progress. The stances and sacrifices of the police will live forever in the consciousness and hearts of the nation and generations will uh, perpetuate their stories of selflessness, courage and heroism or serving and defending the homeland. The Ministry of Interior and valiant men and women have made many outstanding achievements and remarkable professional performance thanks to the unlimited support of His Majesty the King and of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to provide and ensure the capabilities and necessary resources to achieve high readiness and outstanding professional performance of security personnel in line with the latest security systems at the global level. A ceremony to announce the launch of Beyond the Largest Telecommunications and IT Company in Bahrain, which will be the parent company for both Batilco, Beyond Digital Companies, and Batilco International Investments. In the presence of the President of the Supreme Council for Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, and Chairman of Mumtalakat, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and senior officials and businessmen. The Minister of Finance stressed the role of telecommunications and IT sector in supporting the national economy and spurring growth. He highlighted the support 
support accorded to this pivotal sector to achieve the development goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He stressed the need to continue upgrading the digital infrastructure and supporting the telecommunications and IT sector to consolidate its competitiveness, which reflects positively on the national economy. He stressed the innovative digital technologies and solutions provided by the sector, which supports various economic sectors. During the ceremony, the company was officially launched and its new logo was unveiled and displayed on the screen in the main hall and in several locations in Bahrain, including the Four Seasons Hotel Bahrain Bay, the Bahrain International Circuit and the company's headquarters in Hamala. We're delighted today to launch uh, our Beyond brand. It's a milestone of, uh, for Betelco's history. The Beyond brand will be the parent company for Betelco. It's a digital companies as well as in international operations. This is part of the transformation that we're trying to make from a telecommunication company to a truly digital company and hopefully many more steps in the future to achieve uh, what we want, which is basically create more value to our stakeholders and be part of the digital economy of the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, affirmed that Bahrain's support to the health sector that achieves the goals of the development process led by His Majesty the King in the follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, enhances the quality of services provided to all members of society. The Minister took that or noted that His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's order to provide services around the hour in nine health care centers in all Bahrain's governments contributed in developing the health sector services and enhancing its quality and efficiency. This led to the access of community members to health services in an easier and faster manner by ensuring direct treatment of simple daily cases in health centers which were reflected in the cases received by government hospitals which in turn dealt with critical and advanced cases. The minister expressed thanks for the keenness and interest of the president of the Supreme Council of Health and the Board of Trustees of Primary Health Care for implementing the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The minister affirmed that she will work with all parties as members of the Bahraini team to build on these remarkable health achievements in the sector and expand the scope of successful experiences in line with the vision of Bahrain's government and its aspiration to develop health services. Bahrain Fort Museum hosted an evening of Omani poetry as Bahrain gears up to celebrate its national days. Themed Oman's greetings to Bahrain. The event was organized by Bahrain Authority for Culture Antiquities, BACA, and Oman's Embassy in Bahrain in cooperation with Bahrain Poetry Society. The event was attended by the Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan Naimi, BACA President, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Oman's Ambassador to Bahrain, Faisal Al Busaidi, Arab Ambassadors, Culture and Media Figures, Poets from Bahrain and Oman participated in the event. The General Secretariat of the Shura and Representatives Council signed a cooperation and coordination agreement with the Ministry of Information to cover and broadcast the activities and sessions of the two councils in the presence of the Secretary General of the Shura Council, Karim Al Abbasi, and Under Secretary of the Ministry of Information, Dr. Abdul Rahman Bahar, as well as other officials. The Secretary General of the Shura Council stressed the importance of developing work and joint coordination between the Council and the Ministry of Information to more effective and distinguished levels. For his part, the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Information affirmed that ministries keenness on cooperating with the two general secretaries to highlight the development of the parliamentary process in Bahrain. Bahrain's embassy in Saudi Arabia held a reception on the occasion of Kingdom's celebrations of the National Days to commemorate the anniversary of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state, founded by Ahmed al Fatih in 1783, and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The reception was attended by Deputy Governor of Riyadh Region, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Abdurrahman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and a number of officials and members of the public. On this occasion, Bahrain's ambassador to Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Ali bin Abdurrahman bin Ali Al Khalifa, extended his sincere congratulations. Congratulations to His Majesty the King and to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, wishing them abundant health and happiness. The Ambassador lauded the deep-rooted brotherly bilateral relations linking Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and their continuous integration, development and growth on all levels under the support of His Majesty the King, the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in addition to the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He also affirmed that the Kingdom has achieved many successes as it celebrates its national holidays at all levels with aspirations of further progress and prosperity to the reform march led by His Majesty the King. 
The embassy of the Kingdom of Bahrain in France held a reception on the occasion of Bahrain celebrations of its national days. On this occasion, Bahrain's ambassador to France, Dr. Mohammed Abdel Ghaffar Abdullah, expressed his sincere congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the people of Bahrain, wishing the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The ceremony was attended by a number of senior officials from the French Republic, including deputies, members of the Senate, and high profile attendees from the French Presidential Palace and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The ceremony was also attended by a number of Arab and foreign ambassadors accredited to the French Republic and permanent delegates to UNESCO, in addition to clerics from different religions and sects who expressed their sincere congratulations to the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain on this happy national occasion.